Hi there. Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. In this video, we're going to take a high-level test drive of Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon Wilma. Requirements for this operating system are 2 gigabytes of RAM. However, 4 gigabytes are recommended. 20 gigabytes of disk storage. However, 100 gigabytes are recommended. And 1024 by 768 resolution. However, for lower resolutions, visit the Linux Mint website. For this video, I installed Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon on a 2011 iMac, which has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of storage, and an i5 processor. Prior to this video, updates have been installed. So let's have a look. When you initially start up Linux Mint, you're going to be greeted by this welcome screen, this Welcome to Linux Mint screen. Down here in the lower right, it's going to show us that we're running Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon 64-bit. Down here, uh, I recommend keeping this checked. Here is show this dialog at startup. Uh, use this uh, Welcome to Linux Mint screen to become familiar with Linux Mint. Uh, there's some helpful information here. Once you're comfortable, uh, sure, go ahead and uncheck this, and this screen won't show up on the boot. What do you have here? Of course, you've got the uh, Welcome screen. Here you've got first steps. Here you've got documentation. You've got help and the contribute screen. All right, time to dig in. Let's take a look. We're going to go down here and click on the menu item. Uh, you Windows users, if, uh, when you transition, you take a look at this. Yes, it's going to look pretty familiar to you. What I do like about this uh, menu screen here is that if you left click here on the top of this menu item, you can slide up and down and you can change this the height. Also, you can grab it here on the right hand side and you can drag it left and right. And you can play with the width here. You can also grab it here in the corner and as you can see, you can just make the change that you want. Just a, a side note, something just to be aware of, just to make your life a little bit easier. Now we dig in a little bit further. You're going to notice that you have plenty of applications with this install. Uh, if you just take here, I'm just going to go to all applications. You can slide south if you like and just look at all that to play with. Uh, we can break it down. We can look at accessories. Uh, there's several ways you can navigate this. As you can see here, I can slide the mouse and just slide the mouse down here. And you can see it will uh, slide south. I can bring the mouse up here without clicking on any mouse buttons and it'll slide north. Also, I can na also navigate by spinning the uh, scroll wheel on the mouse. And of course, I can grab this bar here and slide north and south. And I can navigate through the various applications that are available. Here, we're going to take a look at uh, graphics, your uh, list of internet apps, your office apps, sound and video, administration. Again, just to give you a quick idea, you can slide north and south. Preferences. Again, you have plenty there to look at. Places and recent files. I think most of us will agree that one of the important apps that you want to look at is your web browser. Linux Mint 22 Wilma comes with Firefox. Now, I'm always going to recommend when you're interested in a operating system, always go to the maker's homepage. Get to know that operating system. Here we're looking at the website for Linux Mint Wilma, Linux Mint 22. Over here, we can just go here and take a look at the uh, download page and we're going to go to the recommended. And you're going to see here Linux Mint uh, comes in what they call different flavors. So right now what we're looking at is we've got Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. You got the XFCE Edition. And you also have the Mate Edition. This is the uh, Cinnamon Edition is what we're looking at. So what is new with it? We can just click here and get an idea. We'll scan through some of it. Uh, Linux Mint 22, you get better language support, support for new technology, support for popular features, and you can continue to read on and on and on about what's new with this release. 
Okay, with uh, any Linux operating system, always uh, there's a f number of apps that I like to look at because I'm going to use them. Uh, so these are important to me. They may be important to you, but let's just take a look. Like I said, we're doing a test drive here. So, of course, we've already seen the web browser. We know that is Firefox, but also important is the word processor. So you can see right here, you've got Libra Office Writer, but let's just say I don't know the name of this app and I'm not sure where to look. With Linux Mint here, I can just go here on this search bar and I'm going to type in Word. And here you go. You have the Libra Office Writer. So we're just going to go ahead and load that up. There's your word processor. Another app that I like to take a look at is it kind of ties into the the Office apps, but I like to look at the scanning software. So let's go here. Uh, we're going to go ahead, go to graphics, document scanner. We're going to give it a moment. It's going to find the scanner. Uh, in the meantime, we'll take a look at another app file that finds the, like I said, the scanner. I always like to go down here to files. Files for you Windows user. Yes, this kind of looks like your file manager. Jumping back over here to document scanner. Look, we found the, uh, the scanner. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, scan. And let's uh, scan a document. We'll take a look and see what we get out of this. While that's scanning, we're going to now look for the firewall. Firewall is important for me. I'd like to be able to turn it on and off. So let's take a look. Let's go down to preferences. We're going to slide south. There it is right there. Oh, look at that. Right there. Can this scan? Yep, it sure does. So why don't we go ahead and just save that document. Uh, you can see I've already scanned another document recently. So I'm going to just go ahead and overwrite it. And let's go ahead. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. So I'm going to replace it. There we go. So there's the scanning software. Now we're back to the uh, firewall. We want to load that up. So key in your password. Here you go. You can see I have the firewall already turned on. If I want to turn it off, I can hit the switch. And now it's no longer active. I can click the switch again. And you can see now the firewall is active. I'm going to click it one more time. And now the firewall is not active. So let's uh, see what other apps that I like to look at. Oh, this one everyone's going to like. This is your uh, software manager. So we're just going to go here and take a look at it. This is where you go if you want to look for apps. This is where you want to go if you want to add apps to the operating system. This is always something that everyone's interested in. So next, what we want to do is let's try out the real estate we've got here. Now, you can see here a little bit of navigation. First, a side note on the navigation. Uh, you can hold down the Alt key and the Tab key. And you can see, you can select what you want. Software, document scanner. There you go. You get the idea. That's how it works. So back to the uh, real estate. Let's go ahead and we're going to take one app right here. We're going to jam it high up center. You can see it's kind of using the 50% uh, of the top. Let's change this. We're going to go ahead and expand it. Now we're using 100% of the screen. I'm going to take this again, shrink it down. Uh, let's swing it. Now this app here is using 50% of the screen. I'm going to take this uh, software manager, hit it hard right, and now I'm using the other 50% of the screen. But I can also take this and slide it down here to the corner. And I'm going to take the app. And we'll take this one. And let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's bring in one more app. Here we go. And we'll jam it up there. And now we're running quarter screens. Just a side note on how to use your real estate. So let's go ahead and close this out now. And how could we not touch on customization? So let's just take a look at some customizing of the uh, Linux Mint 22 Wilma. So let's take a look here. So. If you're my age and you don't have the eyes of a 20 something, this adjustment here can make a big difference for you. So I'm just going to type in mouse. I want to look at the mouse and touchpad again here. This is what I always look for. I can make this mouse bigger. Really, 
Like I said, sometimes this can be helpful, especially like I said, if you don't have the eyes of a 20 something, changing the mouse pointer size is really beneficial. Let's see what else we can look at. Oh, you know what? Let's look at backgrounds. Let's go here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in back. And there you can see backgrounds right there. So you have different choices here. You can go through and select the uh, wallpaper for your desktop. Uh, that's something you can always take a look at. So uh, make a choice. For example, you can go this way. You can go back. And there you go. So you can change it. So let's here. We'll go back and click it one more time just so you can get a look. There you go. So we can change the wallpaper right there. I'm going to go back to this. Uh, no, you know what? I like this one. I'm going to go with this one right here. This one right here, you can see it right there. I like that one. And that's how you can change your backgrounds. And let's take a look at themes. This is very easy. Again, we could always look at for the menus, but I like using the search. There you go, themes. Well, we're going to slide this a little bit to the side. And you know what? Let's do this. We're going to open up the uh, home. So let's take a look. So here you have... Uh, the style. So let's take a look. We're starting off with Mint Y, but let's try Mint L. So you kind of get an idea how it can change the style here. Let's try another one. Mint X. There you go. You get an idea how the style changes. I'm going to go ahead and return back to Mint Y. And here you can change the colors. Again, just to give you an idea, we're going to bounce through a few of these. You get the idea. So that's just a little bit fun on the customization side. One last thing I want to have a look at here is the, uh, I want to take a look at settings. I want to show you the settings so you get an idea of what's available. Of course, here we're looking at the system settings and you have uh, the appearance section to look at. Of course, we just took a look at backgrounds and themes. Uh, we can scroll south and you have your preferences that you can look through. Uh, you also have the hardware section to look through. And of course, you have administration. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoy making these videos. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. Because like I've said in other videos, likes are good. Thank you for watching. You all have a good day.